Good evening once again, and uh, again, Juan Perez, uh, Miami-Dade Police Department. Um, uh, once again, you know, our thoughts and prayers uh, for the families and the, uh, the many victims that were impacted today by this tragic accident. Um, as this uh, continues to progress throughout the evening, once this transitions over um, to the Miami-Dade Police Department to lead the efforts in the homicide investigation, we are prepared to do that. Um, right now, we've already, uh, you know, we, we established a unified command center. Um, we have all partners there, and I want to thank all of our partners from all the local agencies that are assisting not only fire but police. Our federal partners are, are here as well to help with this investigation. Um, and once we get to that point, um, we hope to uh, be able to expedite as you know as much as possible, but uh, realize that this is going to be a long, long process. Um, because to get through that rubble and, uh, you know, the pieces of concrete that are laying there is not going to be an easy task. So uh, we will be depending on our, our fire department to help us uh, get through that process so that we could uh, recover whatever uh, deceased individuals may be under that bridge. Uh, and obviously because our homicide is leading the efforts, we all know that th that is the, uh, what, what it's leaning toward. Um, you know, at that point, we will continue to advise you as uh, we get information as to the number of victims that are underneath that rubble. Obviously, if there's anybody that's alive that can be rescued, that you'll be the first to know. Um, I once again, please, I, I implore you, do not put out any information that is not coming from us in the fire department, the police department, or any of us that are involved in these efforts. Um, any of that, of that information that is leaked out, that is put out, may affect uh, negatively uh, the, the families of the people. And the last thing we want to do is impact them even more. We have our victim advocates that are here at this school right now in the Unification Center, some that are heading over to the hospital to, uh, to uh, meet the needs of the families so that we could do this the right way and inform them the right way. So allow us that opportunity. Um, you know, we are completely transparent and we will continue to be transparent with you. Uh, so give us that opportunity. Uh, again, you know, our, our prayers uh, go out to all those uh, impacted. Uh, at the end of this, you know, the, the saddest thing for us in public safety is that despite our efforts, despite the efforts of our fire department, and not only those that are here now, but the rescuers who came before public safety, the many citizens and residents that, that came to the aid that perhaps saved many lives, despite their efforts, we know that there's going to be a negative outcome at the end of the day. Uh, you heard earlier um, one of our, uh, the story of one of our off-duty officers that provided a CPR um, from his mouth, you know, he said he did nothing but treat that individual like if it was a family member. And you'll hear more and more stories as this develops. And despite those efforts, we're probably going to come out with a, a, a sad outcome for many in our communities. So, uh, you know, once again, uh, thank you for covering us. Thank you for being here. And please, I ask that you, you know, uh, that, that you please cooperate with us and not release information unless it's coming from us so that we know that the victims' families have been already notified. Thank you.